Hey guys, welcome back. Um, tonight, I'm at the shop. Um, just trying to get a game plan together on how I'm going to move all my stuff from this shop to the next. Um, basically, what I have here is I have a... Well, first off, I got a banshee over here in the corner that needs to be uh, fixed up. Just a bunch of random parts. So I got to take this shelf down. Um, I have this little metal table over here. I have this shelf, toolbox, that shelf, my 240. I got this shelf here. And I got some stuff back here that I need to uh, get cleaned up too. Um, I got my welding table there, a the, uh, press, my compressor. Just a bunch of random stuff. Basically need to figure out a game plan on getting this stuff out. Um, I just got my 240 on the ground. Uh, it's basically five lug swapped on the one side. Um, Weld the diff. So it's kind of hard to push. Um, so... I don't know how exactly I'm going to get it. It definitely moves a lot better now than it did. But uh, it is a project for sure. Um, but yeah. So I got a lot of stuff. Um, as far as the new shop goes, I talked to the owner and he said that uh, the big garage door will start going up in a couple days. And then electric will be about two weeks out still. So... Uh, just waiting on electric basically before I can move anything in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then we'll be moved in and then we can start cracking at some of these projects. But uh, I ordered some stuff for the Type R. Um, last week was my birthday, so I got some birthday money. Uh, so I bought a couple things. Nothing crazy, but it'll uh, basically improve the look of the car what i ended up doing eventually and i'll explain this in the install video but i wanted to get the jdm yellow fogs for the car um but they're like 350 bucks and for like 12 dollars, i could put the overlays on so i bought some yellow overlays to go over the stock lights and then i picked up some zl1 rock guards because this thing likes to throw rocks and i am surprised that i don't have rock chips on the side of my car from the past year of driving it but i don't want to take the chances i already got some rock chips in the hood um i got a couple on the windshield which sucks because the windshields are so expensive um, and then I even have a chip on one of the wheels. Not really sure how that happened, but I, I mean, it happens. You need to daily drive a car, and there's no PPF or ceramic coat that can keep uh, rocks from chipping your car. I mean, it's just going to happen. Um, so we're going to get the car cleaned up. Um, probably try to get a little, little more protection on it this coming year uh but yeah i'm excited for the new minor mods that i'm gonna be doing um because i really haven't done one other than the lights so and the window tent but anyways it's a little update uh shop update and um thank you guys again for subscribing if you haven't already go ahead and uh subscribe for more type r content we'll be working on the s13 when the shop opens up um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a different video. And i also going to be building that Civic Hatch, which you guys will find out a little bit more about that also in a different video. Um, but yeah, so got to move all this stuff. Not really looking forward to it, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment down below on anything you want to suggest for the new shop 
um, any other mods that you think I should do for the Type R. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, just uh, hit the subscribe button and come along with us on this automotive journey.